Greetings. It's none other than your brother, Professor Ace, www.africancreationenergy.com. Today we're checking in with episode two of Mathology Mathematics. This episode two of Mathology Mathematics will be talking about squaring out your circle or squaring a circle. This episode will deal heavily with geometry and as always with our Mathology Mathematics sessions, we always use an ancient African principle or ancient African deity as a mnemonic device to help us in aiding us doing our mathematic calculations. And so our memory aid for geometry is the African Imhotep, the African principal Imhotep, who was the designer of the first pyramid. All right, now squaring the circle is an ancient geometric problem that involved trying to construct a square that had the same area as a circle using only a compass and a straight edge. Now when we look at the geometry of circles and squares, we see that both circles and squares are equal in degree, with both having 360 degrees each, but they are different in their formulas for perimeter and area. So when we ask the question, are they alike or different? We have to admit that they are both alike in so far as they both have 360 degrees each, but, but they differ in terms of their formula for perimeter and their formula for area. The formula for perimeter of the circle is pi times the diameter, and the formula for area of the circle is pi times the radius squared. The formula for the perimeter of the square is four times the length and the formula for the area of the square is the length squared. So the theoretical solution to squaring the circle is to construct a circle with a radius of one which means it would have a diameter of two and a square with length of the square root of pi which would be like 1.77245 where the area of the circle and the square will both be pi. However, since the equation for the area of the circle contains the transcendental number pi, which is 3.1459 and it keeps on going forever, it is considered impossible to construct a square that has exactly the same area as a circle because you, you're not going to be able to find a, a straight edge that has the precision, has an infinite precision, like the number pi has an infinite number of places after its decimal point. So a compass and a straight edge can only be used to approximate the solution to squaring the circle. The closest whole number approximation that can be constructed by a compass and a straight edge which yields a circle and a square with similar areas is a circle with diameter equal 9, meaning the radius is 4.5, and a square with length 8, where the area of the circle would be approximately 63.6 and the area of the square would be 64. So that's like, you know, if anybody ever asked you, can you uh, square the circle, can you make a circle and a square with approximately the same area, then you just draw a square with each one having 8 inch size and a circle with diameter 9 and that'll get you a, a close approximation using whole numbers. Now what's interesting is that the ancient Africans in Egypt squared the circle in the design of the Great Pyramid of Giza. The perimeter of the base of the Great Pyramid equals the circumference of a circle whose radius is equal to the height of the pyramid. Now let's analyze that statement and, and so you can see what I mean. Now in my video on pyramid mathematics it gives the dimensions of the Great Pyramid of Giza. So the height of the Great Pyramid of Giza is 146.6 meters. The base, meaning one side of the, the square base of the pyramid, is 230.3 meters, which means the overall perimeter of the Great Pyramid is 921.2 meters. So now, the radius of a circle with the same circumference as the perimeter of the Great Pyramid is all we would have to do is we would take uh, that perimeter that we calculated, which was 921.2, and divide it by pi. And so that circle's diameter would be 293. 3.22, which means the radius would be 146.6 meters, right? Which is the exact height of the Great Pyramid of Giza. So basically, so basically, the choice of the height of the Great Pyramid was based on the solution to squaring the circle. But the radius of the circle that would square the circle of its base was the choice of the height for the pyramid. You know, I think that's pretty deep. All right, so for this and other math projects, be sure to check out the books Archive Tech, How to Build a Pyramid, and Supreme Mathematics, African Math Magic, both available at www.africancreationenergy.com.